If you want to join the world's most numerous and therefore most influential community of riders, then do not apply to the Sons of Anarchy. Instead, get yourself a scooter and join millions of people around the globe who enjoy affordable and smart commutes. Today, we will broaden your specter of motorbike knowledge by showcasing a lineup of all new 2023 scooter models with their brief specifications and design highlights. So, subscribe to Automotive Territory and enjoy the ride. ITIL Jet Dragster 500 GP This concept previews a new production model by the company that will be manufactured in Italy and will hit the market by 2024. Developed by the ITIL Jet Style Center in Bologna, the Dragster 500 GP blurs the boundary between a scooter and a motorcycle. The model shares the familiar trellis frame with its smaller 125 and 200cc predecessors, but gains a new suspension setup and fresh 15-inch wheels wrapped in Pirellis. The former consists of a 47mm upside-down fork and a double hydropneumatic shock absorber. The hydraulic disc brakes measure 270mm up front and 230 at the rear. Plus, the calipers come from Brembo. The old two-stroke engine is replaced with a 450cc single four-stroke that returns 43 horses and 32 pound-feet. The mill is relocated from the rear wheel and is now traditionally placed under the dragster seat. Suzuki Bergman 125EX Suzuki's small displacement scooters are a staple of the bike world. Therefore, one of them gaining the cutting-edge engine tech is a big deal. The Bergman Street 125EX is the first Suzuki to introduce EcoPerformance Alpha engine technology, engine auto stop start, idling stop system, and Suzuki's new silent start. These changes enhance the user experience and ensure new levels of fuel economy and quiet operation. From now on, the scooter rides on 12-inch alloy wheels front and rear, which brings improved stability and control. The 21.5-liter utility compartment won't fit a helmet, but rain gear and shopping bags will feel there at home. The new Bergman Street has a handy 2-amper outlet inside the left compartment, generously proportioned floorboards, and a Ride Connect digital dash with turn-by-turn -turn navigation. Yamaha X-Max Since the X-Max 300 was developed as an ultimate combination of stylish looks, excellent performance, and high functionality, the revised 2023 model has quite big shoes to fill. The sports scooter has full LED X-shaped headlights, new high-mounted front flashers, a dynamic and futuristic new body featuring a tightly condensed silhouette, more angular front cowl, and restyled fork covers. The seat was reshaped for improved ergonomics and easier leg reach to the ground. As before, this mid-weight scoot is powered by the Blue Core single-cylinder four-stroke engine with 292cc displacement and Euro 5 standard. The upcoming Yamaha X-Max 300 is equipped with a stylish new 4.3-inch LCD instrument panel that is now fully connected through the free My Ride app. Honda Forza Honda updates its premium 125cc Warrior for the European market. The 2023 model gets a fresh front that boasts sleeker looking split LED headlights, new fairing and a dashboard tweak to have a better layout. Honda has suspended the Forza 125 steel frame on 33mm telescopic forks and preload adjustable twin shocks. From a performance standpoint, the scooter is carried over from the previous year. It relies on the same 125cc liquid-cooled single-cylinder engine with 15 horsepower and 9 pound-feet of torque. Backed by the company's signature ESP technology, the compact unit boasts one of the best fuel efficiency ranges in the segment, able to ride over 300 miles before requiring to fill its 11.7-liter fuel tank. In 2023, the standard features list includes a Smarty Key, USB-C socket, traction control, electronically adjustable screen, and an emergency stop signal. Vespa GTS In 2023, a famous Italian model will be represented by four versions. A classic-looking Vespa GTS, a bit more contemporary GTS Super, a sportier GTS Super Sport, and Vespa GTS Supertech, which comes overloaded with new goodies. All four scooters can be powered by a modern 125cc single-cylinder engine with electronic injection or an updated 300cc single producing 24 horsepower. 
the latter is the most powerful mill to be ever used by a Vespa. The entire range gets a fresh suspension improved for greater high-speed stability, LED DRLs and turn indicators, and new dual disc brakes with ABS. The GTS family features a keyless system and a standard 3-inch analog LCD. If you agree with us that a scooter is an affordable and practical bike for a super broad variety of tasks, then make sure to smash the like button. Thanks for the feedback, we'll keep rolling. Vita V1 For the past 20 years, Hero Motor Corp has been the world's biggest manufacturer of two-wheelers with a yearly production of 7.5 million units. Now, the company launched the electric sub-brand Vita that will focus solely on electric vehicles. The inaugural Vita e-scooter arrived in two versions, V1 Pro and V1 Plus. The manufacturer has ensured the industry's first capability to select between 100 custom performance settings. If range is prioritized, then up to 100 miles can be covered. If top speed is what you want, then you would be able to ride at 50 miles per hour, while the quickest acceleration is clocked at 3.2 seconds 0 to 25. The Vita has 7-inch touchscreen with seamless smartphone compatibility, cruise control, and keyless entry. SYM MMBCU Targeting exclusively Taiwanese and Chinese markets, the latest SYM two-wheeler offers sporty design with a sharp nose and angular fairing. Similar to Kawasaki models, the Scoot rides on 13-inch alloys equipped with disc brakes and ABS, has LED lights, and packs a full suspension system with the front telescope fork and preload adjustable monoshock. Performance-wise, however, the MMBCU is here to rival the likes of Honda ADV150. It is brought in motion by a 158cc 4-stroke four 4-valve four engine with water cooling and yet unconfirmed output numbers. The model fits a full-face helmet under its single-piece seat, features a monochrome information display, and gets a USB outlet and a front storage for a water bottle. Honda EM1E The company's first electric scooter for the European market is scheduled to arrive next summer, but Honda has already disclosed some details. The EM1E targets the younger audience. This largely dictates its clean and modern styling with a short wheelbase and ample space over the floorboards. The Scoot's rear-wheel electric motor is juiced by a single battery, and though Honda is yet to specify the tech numbers, the latter is the key feature of the new model. The two-seater comes equipped with Honda's mobile power pack, which means that it is removable and can be charged at home. The scooter will also get access to Honda's battery swap infrastructure that is expected to extend across different brands like Suzuki, Piaggio, Yamaha, and KTM. As for the EM1E, Honda promises about 25 miles of range and speeds reaching 28 mph. Ola S1 Already on sale in India, the Ola S1 combines modern design with cartoonish double headlights and plenty of digital tech. The Scoot gets three modifications, S1 Air, S1, and S1 Pro. All come standard with LED lights, 36 liters of boot space, and a 7-inch touchscreen with GPS and Bluetooth. The models are powered by a permanent magnet electric motor that peaks at 6 horses for the Air and 11 horsepower for the other two. In the S1 Pro, it is paired with a more powerful battery pack that ensures 72 mph speeds and 0 to 25 acceleration in 2.9 seconds. The maximum range reaches 112 miles and also gets standard cruise control and a fourth driving mode labeled Hyper. MIT 330 GTS Aggressive looks are no longer the prerogative of big and expensive motorcycles, as the new MIT 330 GTS is here to prove. This practical and spacious scooter boasts a thought-out aerodynamic bodywork and a sporty front end dominated by sharp and angular edges of its LED units. One of the model's main arguments is a decent water-cooled 276cc single-cylinder engine, which turns out 27 horsepower and 16 pound-feet of twist. Another one is the general list of functional features that come standard for the price. In addition to full LED lighting, 
Potential owners can expect dual front disc brakes and single rear disc brakes equipped with ABS, a combination of analog and digital instrumentation, and a remote release underseat storage. What are your thoughts about this upcoming line of scooters? Did we miss some worthy introductions? Leave your favorites and suggestions in the comments section below the video. Subscribe to Automotive Territory, ring the notification bell, and surely smash the like button. More content is on the screen. May the torque be with you.